Alright, hello everybody, Austin here, and welcome back to Oxen Free. I hope to finish this game soon. This is Oh right. Um, this is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean my Hold on. God damn it. I hate that it does this. My dad said your mom wasn't, but it doesn't necessarily... No, not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, this hasn't shaken anything loose or made you, made you sort of reconsider? No. I, I mean, we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection. She sees, like, a bird assassin. And there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh. All right. Well, my mom was Methodist. My dad... Kinda didn't care, but tonight's kinda... I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it's rubbed off on me more than I thought. But, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Yeah, I could see having some of that stuff could be timely now, just um, for processing this. Like, having some armor. Some aspects of it just, um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know. I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but whatever. Aren't we supposed to go, like, right here? Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's, well, well I was gonna say okay, but I'm... Not too sure about that. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought, we thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the, she's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not, I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't, uh, this has just really lost its charm, I have to say. Maybe they want to, maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to, trying to, whatever, to talk through us or something? Yeah, or maybe they want something else. Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alex, little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there? Here we are. <sighs> That's one. <clears throat> yes, it's over here then. Oh, there it is. Jesus. What the fuck just happened? Control me, Clarissa. I'm, I'm trying to help you. This is, this will help me. Help me, how will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others, Ren and Nona. They've gone through the same- Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or- Oh, she's- Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just- just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio, and I remember feeling like you... What the fuck the just happened to the music? Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because 
I'm not gonna waste it. This isn't even where the bonfire was. What did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new s Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates- Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world and she likes to take it out on me and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a- No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa... forehead and the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Jesus Christ. Like, do you under- It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Uh, oh, you are completely insane. It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters. We're all secretly talking about you. Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is... Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was, but we're looping again, so God only knows where she is now. <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit but i mean i might as well be talking about flying carpets because just who knows with this stuff okay well i'm not gonna <coughs> whatever we're here to get the key and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us let's do it the office is right here yep this isn't budging well the lock looks uh less than modern let's just brute force it both of us it might splinter but we should get in uh wait what about like the alarms Yes, please, come and arrest us. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Very funny. All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. I go looking for trivia, I end up with disappointment. <laughs> Here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave Assisted Lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It November. must work for the gate, too. Tango. Oh, great. India. Let's hike it back to the gate. Oh, wait, look at this. Echo. Personal effects Eventually. of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Alpha. Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her Tango. family been carting her things back to town? Back. We can head back. Uniform. I'm just gonna... Here, Echo. this is... To whom... Great. Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What, what, what is that? Who, who's it for? To whom it should concern, it says right at the top. I have been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. The safety of others? If she's talking about tuning into floating shapes, that ship has sailed. Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. 
I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Huh? B wh what the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune to 140.1, and that will somehow lead us to, like, information or secret stuff or something. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. And then it's just... Oh, Christ, this is... This is, like, literally a treasure map. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You... We do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Uh-oh. God damn it. I hope this doesn't cause problems. You coming, Jonas? <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opened. Huh. <laughs> I inferred it? Michael? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Are you... Are you one of those... One of, one of them... Are you one of the ghosts? Why can't I move? <laughs> what? I feel like this is the start of a Christmas carol. Is this because you keep having those dreams? Because I had a crazy dream about... Melanie Pfizer? No, no, no. You... You, you drowned in... In Horn Lake, back at home. Yeah, and last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat mom's cookies like right before bed. And anyways, I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you, do you get what's happening now? <laughs> All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. That's Today creepy. Today be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember we're all on the island? Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh yeah. Where'd the yeah, music go? Home, trust me. Huh. I'm very confused. I'm actually going to fix this real quick. Or yeah, or not. My controllers are going to die. I can't speak. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's what's his face, Mr. Collins English? Truthfully, I've um I Ah, sorry. I think yeah, I <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. This is weird. It's like a flashback. Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... dates. Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. 
If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff. <laughs> cool, cool. Way to be awkward about it, Alex. He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. <laughs> you skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I, I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God. Do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Oh, it's over. Alex, are you alright? <sighs> okay. Uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do you, do, do you know that? <sighs> I mean, I let it go for the first two, but... Jonas, I just saw... <sighs> I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he... D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Nice chat. I figured they'd keep talking. I guess not. Kind of awkward when you think about it. Just, just leave somebody hanging. <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the, well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Some... Weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. What weird stuff? Clarissa sorta, kinda got possessed and then disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, so there's that. What? <laughs> Where is she? Look, we got the way in, let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. 
I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you gonna try the gate thing, or...? I'm not entirely the sure what the combination would be. Do it. Try the radio, Alex. What the hell is this? On the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home. I must be missing something, right? Huh. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. That was a hell of a puzzle. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not going to be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah. And if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. There you I go. Just want to get home. Oh, oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not. It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh. What's Plan B if we can't find it? Um. Keys. They, they have to be in the house for the movers or her family. You know. That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Well, here we go again. There we that go. Is a nifty gizmo. All right, let's go inside. Clarissa. There's Jesus. Clarissa, apparently. Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just... Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and, like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Clarissa, you just better hope there's two boats or something, because you're not sitting anywhere close to me. You better hope there's two boats for your giant ego if you think you can dictate the evacuation terms. Okay, haha. -ha. Enough jousting and reposting. Let's carry on. Now, everybody find something and hope that it helps. I get the feeling something's about to happen. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know what? Better than friggin' ever. I feel like I've never stopped winning since we landed. I think you're a liar, but... It's good to hear for some reason, anyway. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Well, I guess we better catch up with everybody else since they just decided to leave us. That's nice. Put some clothes on! 
<laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? You kids better get- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Where's Ren? Hey, Nona. Hey. How's it going? Uh, steady as she goes. Clarissa? Your Highness? I just want you to be keenly aware, sharply aware that I don't care one, one anything what you think about me, okay? And making a big show of telling me, that surely fits the narrative you've drawn up for yourself. Where did Ren go? I know he followed them, right? Uh... Not behind the camera. You, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, we're going home soon, so. Yeah, that's true. Hello. Where did he go? This is odd. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot. Okay, we of get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. She must have the hearing of a bat to fucking hear all that from the boat. Anything upstairs? Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Feeling adventurous, are we? No, no, don't go downstairs. I thought that was to look at the bookshelf. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Do I need to find a code of some sort? Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. Typewriter? Oh, it's, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? <laughs> huh. Is that it? Seriously, where the fuck did Ren go? Where are you going? Look, I don't want to be a creep about it, but I've been like really worried about you. Why? Because I haven't seen you all night. I saw you. No, you didn't. Not after everything happened or whatever. No? No. I could swear I like owed you something, but I guess not. Uh. Okay, I'm confused. Ren's nowhere to be found. Unless I'm just stupid. Where did his high ass go? There he is. Find anything useful? Not yet, 
But you know, the night is young. How are you, um, how are you feeling? Like, physically? Everyone kind of looks like they have the flu. What do you care how I'm feeling? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? I just don't get it. All right, Ren, honestly, the time has come to let it go. I mean, this just can't be a big deal compared to everything else tonight. Then I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm just sore about it still, but whatever. I'll chew my resentment down till we're out. Fucking better. Nobody needs to deal with that shit. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? Huh. Well, I guess we'll open the uh, chest up in the attic, and I'll cut it there. Why did he just run off like that? Why did all of them just run off like that? And you just answer and not question it, okay? Uh, sure. What's my dog's name? Charlie? Charlie. Thanks for that. Huh. Here it is. Better not be something stupid. Are you coming, Jonas? Fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Well, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. Alright, well, that was a nice episode. Making some decent progress. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're new here, what you should do is go to my channel and watch some other stuff. <sighs> but with that said... I'll see you all in the next video.